Hey everybody, it seems like fake high-capacity USB drives have flooded marketplaces everywhere, even some reputable online shops. But I want to show you a very easy way to determine the real capacity of a USB drive or SD card so you won't get fooled. I've already made a video about fake 2TB drives sold for about 5 bucks, which were not even close to that capacity. This one costs about 6 bucks delivered and claims to be a 16TB drive. Can you believe it? have a similar reversible USB drive that costs about 50 bucks and has a half terabyte capacity, and it's about half the size of this one. We'll disassemble it later. And check this out. This drive has a blue USB connector, which is supposed to indicate USB 3.0, as they claim. But if you look closely at real USB 3.0 or higher connector, you'll see those extra contacts deep down there. This one doesn't have those, which means it has a slower USB 2.0 interface. Let's plug this drive into the laptop. And if we check the drive's properties, we'll see the same inflated capacity. And that's why these USB drives get 5-star ratings. Most people check the drive capacity this way and think they got a legit device. I know it's simple and free app designed specifically for cases like this, and it doesn't require installation. It's called H2TestW from a German developer. The link in the description. Simply download the app, go to your downloads, open the archive or extract files, and run the executable file. Select German or English, then click Select Target and choose your drive from the list. If you want, you can test all available space, but it's going to take a lot of time. In my case, writing and reading 15 terabytes of data at USB 2.0 speeds would take like forever, and I'm pretty sure the actual capacity is no bigger than 64 gigabytes. So I'm gonna set the limit to 64,000 megabytes and click on Write plus Verify. The app is currently creating 1GB files one by one. Once the memory is full or it reaches the volume we set, it will start verifying all those files. Files that pass the verification will be written to the actual drive's memory, while those that fail will be written to like a virtual memory. This process can take up to several hours, depending on the interface and the drive's capacity. I think we can stop here. As you can see, the app was able to verify only about 28 gigs of data, and the rest of the sectors are continuing to add to the corrupted count. So the real capacity of this USB drive is 32 gigs. But if we go back before we crossed the 28 gig mark, as you can see, we already have about 70 megabytes in corrupted sectors, so you can't trust your data to a drive like this. Now let's take a look inside. I bet all the chips will have their markings removed. Unbelievable. That wasn't expected. They removed all markings from the microSD card and the controller chip. Let's check this microSD card. It wants to be reformatted. And it turns out to be a 32 gig SDHC card. I've tested this microSD card on its own and it fails. At the same time, the Samsung card passes the test in this USB drive without any issues. So basically, this USB drive is just acting as a USB to microSD card adapter. This card is probably altered in some way or they're just using defective ones. So I hope it was helpful and don't fall for this scam.